Welcome to The Developer Show. I'm Wim Leeler. We're here at DartConf in Los Angeles. And this is Jacob Richmond. Hi, I'm a developer on the Dart team in Seattle, and I focus on developer tools for Flutter. So can you tell us what the inspector is? What does it do? Yeah, so the inspector lets you answer questions about how your application is working. It lets you explore an application, really see how it all ties together, how it uh, connects from the device to the widget tree to your source code. And it makes all those connections really quick and easy to follow and something that we can only do because of how Flutter is structured. So what was the motivation for doing the inspector? So the motivation is because Flutter handles the whole UI stack from the widgets to rendering on its own rather than relying on native widgets in iOS or Android, we really need to provide our own inspector tool because we can't depend on native tools on the platform uh, working for us. So can you tell us about some of the challenges working on the inspector? So one of the challenges is all your UI is defined in dark code instead of some intermediate markup language. So this means to write a really good inspector tool, we have to really understand dark code. We can't get by just understanding some much simpler XML format. So can you talk about the characteristics of Flutter that made it different to work on this than other tools? Yeah, so in Flutter, everything is a widget. You have this big tree of widgets that describe your application. And that's great for us because it means most of the questions you care about as a user using the inspector are answered by the widgets tree. But it means we also have to be really smart about how we display the tree and how we let you navigate back and forth between the device and the widget tree and your source code, because otherwise it could be too difficult for you to find where you want to go. So what were some of the reasons for not using more traditional tools like what are used on Android and iOS? So the normal tools in Android and iOS couldn't really tell you much useful about your application. They'd just be able to say, oh, there's one big component, that's your entire application. That's really all they know because Flutter is fully owning the whole UI stack instead of trying to provide polyfills over top of native components on one platform or another. So when is this going to be available? So you can use it now in the latest version of IntelliJ, the IntelliJ Dart plugin that just was released. And some of the features we've talked about will require Dart 2.0 because they're ones where we've uh, taken advantage of new features in Dart 2.0 to really be able to track where your widgets were created, which provides some of the really deep linking back and forth between the widget tree and your source code. Thank you very much for talking to us. This was very enjoyable. Thank you. And thank you for watching.